gift. So for those who are new, your past is a gift is a book that I've written. I wrote. It's been published now about two years ago. Two, three, I'll have to wait. Two years ago, I think. <laughs> was it last year? No. 2017 was the year it came out. March of 2017. Anyway, it's my life story, all my experiences, everything that I've learnt. Um, it all started because one day I decided I just had to address every single moment of my life and understand what I was supposed to get from that. What was the gift in it? Because I believe that everything we've been through is to help us evolve as human beings. You know, you'll find yourself, you get into a pattern, that pattern keeps repeating. You know, you might be in a job, for example, and you've got a boss that berates you all the time and it's always putting you down and making you, belittling you, you know, making you feel like you're just invisible, you know, like you're, little, you're nothing. And you'll leave that job and you'll go to another job. And maybe in the next job, you know, your boss is wonderful. But then you'll find that there'll be someone else that will come in and take the place of that first boss. Because there's something there that you're meant to learn. There will be someone else that will come into your life and belittle you and berate you and make you feel like garbage. And they're there for a reason. Everything is there for a reason. It's not coincidental, it's not an accident. And that's why many of you, I know you'll be sitting there and you'll be thinking, oh yeah, I know that pattern. There are patterns in your life. The same kind of people keep coming into your life. You know, maybe the bully. Maybe you had the bully as a child in school. And then you went through high school and there was another bully. Might not have been the same one, didn't need to be the same one, but there's a bully. There's someone trying to tell you that you're believing something about yourself. That's not true. And in that moment, the moment that you wake up to that, and you realize, oh my God, I'm not those things that I thought I was. You know, for the longest time I believed I was that. And then one moment you wake up, you wake up to the truth and you realize, I'm not those things. Then it doesn't matter who comes into your life after that and says those things to you. They just slide off your back because it doesn't mean anything to you anymore. You've decided that you're not that anymore. And I think the most important point that you realize that you're not all those things is when you stop looking at yourself like you're this body. You're just this outer thing. Okay, you're these fingers and hands and legs and arms and head and face. And so we're always putting ourselves into a category of I'm too thin, I'm too fat, I'm too tall, I'm too short, I'm too... I'm too something or I'm not enough of something. It's usually the I'm not enough. I'm not fat enough, I'm not thin enough, I'm not tall enough, I'm not short enough, I'm not pretty enough. Whatever it is that you decide about yourself. But it's always because you're looking at yourself like you are this outer body this body that's holding who you really are inside. Who you really are is inside this body. It's inside. And it's got nothing to do with how straight your teeth are, how crooked your nose is. It's got nothing to do with anything that's going on outside. There's still this beautiful little soul sitting inside. And the day you wake up to that, none of the outer things. None of those things that you used to think of were defects will matter anymore. You know, it's funny because recently I was talking to my husband and I was saying to him, oh, I'm looking at this actor, you know, um, that we've seen in a few movies. And I said to him, I find him so handsome. And my husband was saying, but he's got such a big nose and he's got this and he's got that. And I'm looking at him and I'm saying, I don't see any of that. You know, when you find someone beautiful, you find them handsome, whatever word you want to use, you're not really looking at one particular feature that stands out. You're looking at the whole thing. And for me, what always gets me, and my cousin would back me up on this one, she always used to say to me, why do you always go for the eyes? <laughs> but my thing is, I first look at the eyes, and if there's a light there, if there's a spark there, if there's something that just draws me to that person, everything else kind of just melts into 
you know, how beautiful that person is because our soul, you can only see it through your eyes. You don't see it anywhere else. You can't see it, you know, from how crooked your teeth are or, you know, what your hair looks like, if it's all frizzy or whatever you feel your defects are, you know? None of that is who you really are. And when you learn to look at others in the same way and you're learning to look at them as a soul, as a human being that has a soul, not just this outer shell that we've been given, you know? You're going to see something so beautiful that it's just going to blow you away. And the funniest thing that's happened to me lately, I don't know why, is that many times I'm looking at others and I see myself there. I see myself in them, in their eyes, in their reflection. I see myself and I see others. The other day I was looking at some of the YouTube videos and I'm trying to pick thumbnails and there were so many I'm looking at them and I think oh that's my mum's eyes that's my mum's expressions you know or I'd see some and think oh that's my sister you know she so does that face you know sometimes and sometimes I'd be my daughter you know when she has that gorgeous little innocent look and there's there's no other thoughts but she's just looking at you because that's what they do when they're little there's no no processing going on they're just being who they are the age of five six there's nothing going on you know so I want you to start thinking about that that when others look at you you know they're not always looking at what you think is ugly or unattractive I did a uh, anyway in the next video I'll talk about a workshop that I did and the results you know how surprised everybody was at what came out of it all right so I love you guys. Um, remember to click like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. And I'll talk to you all about the workshop that I did uh, a few years ago and what came out of it. All right, bye for now.